Today's video is brought to you by Gray Viking Games. Click the link in the description below to buy MTG Arena codes for cosmetics, packs, and more. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Jeff and today we're going to have some fun playing Magic and we are playing with the biggest bad boy of Cal Time itself, Coma Cosmo Serpent. I have absolutely loved playing with this card it is busted it's awesome uh in the tybalt's trickery deck that's one of the things i learned immediately was that this card just wins games and it's a new thing for us to ramp into and guess what i like to play in historic ramp <laughs> my mono green nissa deck <laughs> yes it, now it's now it's uh you know two colored it's simic and everything like that but any excuse to play this deck i'll actually absolutely take especially with the new season coming out this is the deck that i think is going to be really powerful or, and worth uh playing to be ranking up coma is super super powerful it is awesome it is amazing and it actually works with a couple of different things in blue that are actually surprising uh things like whelming wave that bounces everything but serpents how about that uh yeah and so there's just some really cool stuff that we can be doing in this stack in this format and so so really excited about it. We're going to jump into this deck. So this is the basic idea. I'm doing my, my typical mono green walkers deck that's splashing blue for negates, for hydrocrasis, whelming waves, uh, and of course, coma. Uh, and otherwise, this deck has already been proven to be really powerful, really good. We're testing out and trying something a little bit different. Uh, and that's the basic uh overview of the deck if you guys like this kind of stuff make sure you hit the like button make sure that you subscribe uh we're gonna dive into the deep dive right now into the deck if you guys want to jump ahead to the gameplay the timestamp is always down in the description below or you know on the scrub bar whatever you guys want to do you can do it uh and so that's it but yeah make sure that you guys hit the like button make sure that you are subscribing if you haven't done already you know that would just be great it'd be awesome i'd like it you know and so and you would too all right let's jump into this all right so <sighs> I've always been in between uh, Arboreal Grazer and Llanowar Elves as the best one drop for this deck specifically. Uh, and ultimately, Llanowar Elves just dies a lot easier and Arboreal Grazer gets you out the value immediately. Yeah, I am running only 24 lands, but I've done 24 lands in mono green version of this and Arboreal Grazer consistently hits better there for me. Uh, in a two color deck, it might be better to have Lana Rails more often. Uh, we do have Grow Spiral uh, in here, but I'm not running like uh, Explore as well as Grow Spiral. I'm just running the one, uh, just Grow Spiral. And so I'm not as worried about not having enough lands as often with Grazer. And so ultimately this blocks it blocks goblins it blocks other aggro things it has a reach so it can block the flyers and every once in a while that's exactly what you need to stay in the in the game a little bit longer and so ultimately i've had ad warrior grazer win me more games than i have with land or else and so i'm going for a full play set here i really want one in the opening hand having him in the late game still sometimes isn't the worst because we can have a, a reach blocker and that's actually pretty nice stuff uh, it also works a little bit better with whelming wave because we are bouncing stuff back to hand if we have a little bit more stuff to ramp with if we, we found land number two whatever we have two lands in the hand later in the game which doesn't typically happen this is not always the case but with uh, cultivates to bring other lands to hand things like that it actually sometimes is nice to have the royal grazer sorry that, that's that's my take on this one i can definitely see the value of having nowhere else i really feel, feel like they're pretty even but this is like a 51 to 52 percent better for me and so i'm doing four of and two of uh only six one drops is a little bit hard i typically want to have get up to our three drop slot in this deck, I'm actually not running as heavy of a three drop slot. I'm running really heavy into the Gross Spirals, Mind Stones. Uh, and again, I'm not even playing a full place in Mind Stone. Uh, I do have some in the sideboard for Karn or one more in the sideboard for Karn. But uh, this way we get to have Negates held up. We get to play a little bit more of a controlly matchup against some things. Uh, and just kind of hope that we get we get everything going here so that we can get up to our turn four, turn five a little bit early. We still definitely have the ability to play out Anissa on turn three or Karn on, uh, Golos on turn three, like things like that. So we definitely still have that ability in this deck, but the focus is a little bit more of just kind of getting out good value, making sure that we're covering up, getting, getting this stuff on turn four is still good and powerful and nice. Uh, and then we just have more interaction that we need throughout the rest of the game to make sure that we can get up to our Como, get, get up to our Oog and get up to you know our other Oog. Uh, and win games. Uh, I know a lot of people hate any deck that has Ugin in it. Well, in Historic, I feel like this is a little bit more of a balanced one. In Standard, I, I do kind of understand with it, but uh, we also have to have ways to interact with a, a board full of goblins or elves right now are really busted. If we can actually ramp up to stuff, we need a way to kill it. That's also the reason why Whelming Wave comes into the deck is that elves are just busted, and if we can ramp up a little bit, bounce everything back, everything comes back without haste, and we can hopefully have a little bit a little bit more time to kind of play around stuff. Karn also just immediately just destroyed Troy's decks. Uh, we have a sideboard that's full of answers for everything. Um, Ornithopter, because sometimes you just need a zero play to block a flyer or block whatever. 
uh two copies of grafted Duke's cage because that shuts down so many uh decks in the format uh there is the weathering stone or weathered stone that, that came in with cal time but it's two mana sometimes that is hard to to play out like i said we get we get up to five mana on turn three pretty often and sometimes just going for a car and grabbing a graft diggers playing it out is exactly what we need to stop a combo and it wins games and it's awesome uh and so that that's that's what we're gonna do all right uh what do we do spells and i actually like just because it's four or five mana gain three six life uh the energy doesn't really matter here i could play like the uh the the card that looks for the top six and we get to play anything but i no this is just here because it gets to gain this life it works well with the flux reservoir as well um heart of kieran comes into this sideboard as well it's awesome just great blocker for us mind stone as the extra copy sometimes we do just need a little bit more ramp if we have ugin it could be nice just to have it out there it's also card draw for us uh so sometimes we do just need a, a, a card drawn and that's a way to do it for us uh source of spyglass uh shuts down a lot of things i'm putting one of here in two grafted cage just because of what i've run up against i typically want grafted cage more than sources by glass some of the time uh aetherix is where vertus i decided to go ahead and try out the the blue uh the blue and green uh artifact creatures that we can bring in or just like our different artifacts and these are the best ones vertus gear hulk sometimes just giving everything uh giving four counters into stuff is pretty nice having a, a, a big body with trample is pretty nice too so i like it torrential gear hulk we do have negates we do have gross spirals might as well and also uh i think can i hit wilming way with this or is it just instant speed um Target instant card from graveyard. So yeah, ju just instant cards. But we so we, we do have a couple of those that are at least worth playing and having of having this in hand, holding on to it while maybe holding a negate or holding on to anything else is nice. Uh, God God Pharaoh statue also awesome. Uh, and then go meter golem, some called serpent. I can also see us maybe bringing like one like sublime epiphany because we are ramping into stuff and that just does everything. Uh, but ultimately this is kind of what we're going for. Hydrocrasis comes into the deck because it's super powerful. It just is awesome with the ramp that we get from Nissa. It is huge. Nissa of course if you you haven't seen this card before limited Lim Lim rock it gives us lots and lots of mana we get to do everything awesome this wins us games really awesome like this is the card that will win us the game and we have everything else kind of built around it in a way that makes it even more fun to win the game Golos helps us go find lands. I do have World Tree in the deck uh, to make sure that we hit this, the five, or sorry, the, yeah, the five colors for Golos. Uh, and then we also have one Cascade Cataracts. Not because I feel like it's better than World Tree for as far as getting to the, the colors. I think ultimately you do prefer World Tree for the Golos ability, but I prefer Cascade Cataracts for Nissa's ability, giving it, uh, a, making it a 3-3 three, three, uh, as an indestructible land. It's just one of the few indestructible lands that still works for our, our game, our game plan, everything else going on. Uh, and that is awesome and every once in a while I've, I've had that just having one of these guys out as an indestructible creature win me so many games that it's worth having uh and so yeah that's basically it uh coma is is really good we actually didn't dive into the full thing of what coma does but yeah so uh can't be countered seven mana six six uh and then as long as it doesn't die immediately, if we get to an upkeep, we get to create a 3-3 blue serpent creature token uh, with names Komos Coil. And then we can sacrifice another serpent, uh, which unfortunately Hydrocrasis is not a serpent. I, I wish it was it was kind of fit into that realm as well, but it's all good. But anyway, then we can tap target permanent. It can't activate its activate ability. So any Planeswalker beginning of upkeep, sack, sack our... our our quill that we just made tap it down it can no longer activate anything boom bam done game's over basically uh coma uh and then you could also sacrifice one and give it indestructible so some protection all that stuff and that's that's basically it i think you guys know the rest of these cards i don't need to dive too far into it i just want to get the deep dive because i know some people have definitely been asking for it and so there you guys have it let's go and jump into the gameplay see how it does for us wish me luck here we go <laughs> up against karen ah karen uh Karen. All right, on the draw, we do have turn two ramp, so we're gonna keep this. Would love a turn one ramp for sure, but this is the kind of hand I actually really like. This is this is what I'm excited for. Mind stones, negates, grow spirals, everything awesome. Life's good. Life's great. I think we lead off with the mind stone because on on the next turn we can hold up a uh, grow spiral and negate. That might just be everything we've ever wanted. Um, I, I don't actually know. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Mindstone. Why not? Pass the turn. Sure. I I still in between what what's better to be getting stuff out. Like maybe hitting more lands is better. It's I, I like Mindstone better when I can immediately use its its ability for something. All right, well, there's there's a reason why you don't run Mind Stone first, is because it can die and lands don't usually. Rude. 
Uh huh. All right, I I do want to try holding up the uh, negate here. We can still run into a land. Another green source. We can go double double growth spiral. Youthful Valkyrie. Yep, all of the mana ramps. Or not ran, oh, dude, life. I, I can't spoke, right? Don't, doesn't matter. All right, down to 17. All right, so definitely hoping for untapped green source or something. Should have done this on the other turn. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, well. Get out, World Tree. Get out, Nissa. Just kidding. Actually, yeah, probably still get out, Nissa. Um, and Cascade Cataracts. Here we go. <coughs> So I can untap Breeding Pool, Grow Spiral, Forest, Mind Stone. Have all of the ramp. Uh, yeah, so let's let's do that. Breeding Pool. Uh, yeah, we'll just do it. Grow Spiral. Forest. Mind Stone. Uh, I think... We potentially lose Nissa if they have something really good here, but I, right now it's just going to one. There's a Coco. Two angels does kill us now. Um, if they have youth, uh, Righteous Valkyrie, we're in all sorts of trouble. All right. Nissa stays alive. We have a shot. Should have held up in the gate for that. All right. We have all of the ramp in the world. That's good. Now we need like, you know, the cards and stuff. <laughs> uh, oh, we have world tree. So this is, yeah, that taps for all the colors. Love it. Uh, breeding pool. Um, do I want to shock myself here for it? Sure. Uh, let's go with... Cultivate. Try to dig stuff out of our deck a little bit more here. We have plenty of blue mana, so I'm not as worried about that right now. Get one out there. Play a forest. Um, let's go ahead and draw. Should use the cataracts. All right, there we go. Grazer. Um, untap. Cataracts. Attack in. Get them below the 27 life, which should help a little bit. Nissa does die, but hey, we did stuff. Uh, we can counter another collected company. You know, we, we, did, we did things, and hopefully we can find a good card off the top, and life's great. Ah, we can't negate that, though. Drats. Uh, only, only four life, so not the five yet. The need for this. Hits in for everything. Oh, that's right. I did have a blocker. All right. And this is Gonzoed. There we go. That's what we were hoping for. All right. There's a coma. Um, how do we attack in here? I want to hold on to the negate, so I don't actually want to lose breeding pool. Do I need to tap down Resplendent Angel or Speaker of the Heavens right away? No attacks. Uh, resolve. They could do it right away without us being able to activate, but if I tap it down, it won't actually gain any life. So if they want to spend the mana on that, that's fine. Uh, Speaker of the Heavens, I should be able to respond to in time. I will tap that down if they play out another creature here. All right, so it looks like they're going straight to combat. Um, oh, dang it. I meant to tap down Respond Angel. I didn't do it now. Darn it. All right, block here. Sweet. 
Sweet. Okay, that's that's the best thing that could have happened. Yeah, absolutely. I, we're, we're still taking a ton of damage right now. We're down to nine. Um, pass to my turn. Karn. What can Karn do for us? What can you do for me? Meteor Golem could be nice to get rid of some stuff. God Pharaoh statue. We might just need Ornithopter to not be dead. Don't be dead, dude. Um, Sorcerer Spyglass to stop. The Resplendent Angel could be nice. Heart of Kieran, I guess. Yeah, let's go Heart of Kieran. A little bit bigger, a little bit more awesome. We can activate it with a, co a coil any day of the week. Um, do I want to tap down anything now? And attack in. I could tap down Bishop of Wings, swing in. I think I just swing in with everything here. Try to keep the life total a little bit lower. We can tap down the Resplendent Angel on the upkeep. Tap down a, num a number of things on the upkeep. Uh, the blocking one creature, sweet. With the heart of Kieran here as well, I'm that's that's kind of okay because we already have answers for a couple of different things now. So, uh, yeah, pass. Create a serpent. Resolve. Um. Okay, Sack of Serpent. Uh, between Grazer and Heart of Kieran, I can take care of both of the useful Valkyries right now, so I think that we're fine with that. I'd rather have another thing to be hitting in with. Yes! Yes! Coma is awesome! I like it. I like it lots. Back up. All right, good. St still in gold. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, new new uh, new season. Yeah, that sounds that sounds awesome. Grazer into World Tree into Mindstone. Uh, not quite. So yeah, Karn on turn three at least is nice. We'll drop the Ugin from this hand. Would be nice to have, but not yet. Opponent Smulgining as well. This is down to five cards, I think, right now. Keeping five. All right. Sanctum. Grazer. World tree. Life's great. It's always great being on the play here. I think this is our first time being on the play. This video. Dude, my luck sucks when it comes to that. Play out Mindstone. Pass the turn. Hey, how does that always happen? Like, I swear, I never am on the play. <laughs> and the few videos that I do, like, end up being on the play more often or whatever, I do really well in them a lot of times. It's just, it's just sad. And that's one of the biggest issues with combos is it's like, okay, who gets to turn three first or turn four? It's like, every, with Historic, at least everything has the chance to combo off on turn three, but it's like, that's really busted stuff. Um, all right, we might, we haven't seen green men yet for Coco. Um, that, oh yes, 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 cool. All right, Nissa, we have the Grazer to block. I think I do pump up the Crawling Brands. We have zero forests so far, so this is actually a little bit awkward. Um, down to 17, pass the turn. Crawling Brands is just something we can pump more into and keep it, getting it bigger. Maybe it's better to have it back, but I want to keep my colors. Righteous Valkyrie. Huh? Got him. All right, we have a fair bit of mana with this, so let's play Karn. I will defend my allies. Stand down. How much mana do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five. So, yeah, I guess just Golos. I 
I could go for like Godfair's statue. Something like that. I think Golos ultimately is the best here though. Um, so untap breeding pool. Attack in. Takes both. Whoa. They know the only card that we have in hand. Oh, I guess I could pump the Crawling Barons. But, yeah, okay. But you could have blocked the Breeding Pool. Alright, let's look for... What are we looking for? Um, Cascading Cataracts for another Indestructible dude. No, I think I'm looking for like... Maybe it's just another forest so we have more ramp, right? Breeding pool tapped. We already have World Tree. Nissa most likely is staying alive next turn. Unless they have like a way to exile it here. Yeah, let's just go for breeding pool. Just just keep it safe. We need uh so we have six lands, so now we can use Golos's ability. Okay. We did what we needed to do. Laugh is great. Down to 11. Yeah, I don't know how you come back from this now. Right, Sakri? That's a good thing. That definitely does stuff. Uh, they can pressure Karn and Nyssa. I don't care about getting Nyssa to the ultimate right now. I mean, it would be nice, but... Uh, we'll protect the Karn. I guess we don't really need to. Getting Nissa to the ultimate could be really great. Yeah, finding a, a Koma or an Ugin off the top with Golos here is what we're looking for. They also have to protect from us just attacking in as well. I think their goal now is to try to get to 27 life. So then they can get big enough that good things happen. Uh, we have to tap down Breeding Pool. I'm not really attacking in with this stuff now anyway. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and negative two with Karn. Grab a statue. I just want them to feel like they don't have any, any any hope here, you know? That's that's the dream. Go for Karn. Keep this Karn. Um I don't remember how I how I play with this. So coma for sure. Um negative two. Not going to attack in with any creatures. Uh, I think I'm fine untapping Breeding Pool again. So we have one, two, three, four mana. Uh, Heart of Kirin or Ornithopter. Let's go Heart of Kirin. Okay, untap Breeding Pool. I want to see if I can use the Hydrocrasis. Actually, well. Okay, I, could, I couldn't remember if I had a chance to cast it uh, for anything else. Um, yeah, I just heard of Kieran. Stop on the upkeep, maybe? No attacks. Pass the turn. All right, so I could tap something down here. Do I care about it? Nothing has activated abilities right now, so we'll wait until we go to combat. If we if we feel like we need to. Crew up this with Heart of Kirin, and then do this. Bishop of Wings. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of life gained. Conclave Tribunal, what are they targeting here? Coma? You have enough threats that it's kind of okay. So, uh, yeah, crew. Crew with Coma. Coma, go away, that's fine. I mean, I don't love it. 
That's okay. All right. Uh, and then Godfrey's statue. Do I do that over just activating Golos again? I think so, right? This is... Wait, are we attacking first? Um... All right, let's... God for a statue. Um... The land bestows opportunity. This gives all of our stuff indestructible, which is a big deal. And it's all of the mana ramp in the world. Another gra grazer is pretty sweet too. These guys are indestructible now, so go ahead and attack in here, here, here. Holding on to Heart of Kieran for another blocker. Try to get the life to a little bit lower. Um. Yeah, now we just try to make this feel as hopeless as possible. So now I think it's Meteor Golem is the worst thing for them. Because we can hit the Tribunal on the next turn. Brazer, another flying blocker. Pass the turn. Down to 16. I mean, their, their hope is just try to get to where they have enough life gained, but we have... Yeah, if they can get up to 27 life, then they do have a shot. But now that's a lot harder with only three lands and God Pharaoh statue on the board, you know? You, you guys know. And can they really afford to just do nothing for turns? Okay, another tribunal. All right, gonna gonna get the Golos off the board. And then we can just hit it with a meteor golem. Yep, we have another Golos, so life is fine. We'll probably hit the coma one, get Golos out, make them feel completely miserable about themselves. You know, just as we do. They could hit the God Pharaoh statue as well. I, like, nothing here, I think, gets them out of this next turn just being awful for them. <laughs> uh, we actually don't have any gods for the world tree. That's the one thing I feel like we're missing with this deck is uh, it would be really fun to have. Maybe it is worth having, like, one or two Essicas just as a good three-drop play as well. Um, all right, so they do take the God Pharaoh statue. Pass in my turn. Cascading Cataracts. Um, I think we have enough to still activate. We can activate Golos twice too, actually, but whatever. We're, we're just going to get our coma back. Actually, let's get the statue back. Should have done the Nissa first. Oh well. Grow Spiral, draw a card. Sure, we'll put that out there. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that's a nice thing. After Nissa's ability triggers, uh, we have so few not like lands left in the deck that we just we hit everything with Golos. It's really nice. So, good stuff. Good stuff. Not a whole lot of ramp in this hand. Karn can be pretty good against a uh, sacrifice deck. Being on the draw, however, in general, we might just need to be at, a little bit more aggressive with our ramp. That's a lot more aggressive of a ramp hand. Keep this. Uh, we actually don't have mana for Gross Spiral. So I think I'm just going to go for trying to hit the Cultivate and uh, into everything else. Yeah, we'll try that out. Why ever not? The Lanny War. All right. Um, not, not what I expected. See, this is the time where Lanny War is better. Grazer doesn't have a guaranteed third land to get us up to cultivate. Lanny War else, however, is not guaranteed, but will with our hand it has a higher chance of getting to cultivate than Grazer does. And what do we want to do? We want to get to cultivate real bad. All right, I'm assuming there's going to be collected company shenanigans happening here. 
Um, sweet. And then we have an awesome play for the next turn. Life's great. Life is fantastic. All right, forest and Island. Let's get out the Island. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Graph Diggers does shut down Collective Company as well. And so we have five mana for next turn that we might just want to do that. Of course, they probably have it right now. What colors is this? Okay, just Bant so far. Or five color, technically. Oh, Captain Sissy. Say, uh huh. That's intriguing. All right, so I'd like a sorcerer spyglass, but I think what we do is we just uh, play Nissa, get out Cascading Cataracts, have the ramp, so I can play more things on the next turn. Yep. Uh, reveal it. Put it into your hand. All right, Cascading Cataracts showing in. Down to 15, past the turn. Questing Beast, something like that. I'm trying to think of like, oh. Oh, that's what's up. Ah, uh, this is the combo deck. Okay, Graph Diggers would have been, I guess Graph Diggers doesn't totally shut it down. Typically, you have the Emery version, but Captain Sisse also works for this. So now they can go grab any legendary card consistently, which, guess what's a legendary card? Mox Ambers. So they already have infinite mana. Um, although they can't grab it from the graveyard, they have to find Emery for that, which they don't have the blue mana tapped. They didn't tap down blue mana for an Emery. Although I guess they'd have to untap anyway to make it work. So they have card draw with mind stones. Unless they find a way to actually get stuff from the graveyard, we're still still in the game. They just get to draw all of the things. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, that, that would do it. Nice. <laughs> Dang. What a deck. I we're dead. I just haven't seen this version of it, so I'm I'm wanting to see a little bit more here. Yeah, I, I, some people want to see the whole thing showed off. All right, so there's Aetherflux Reservoir. They found the Karn to go do it. They cast enough spells. Um, I want to see how much they're gaining life with right here. Oh, they just get to draw cards with the or yeah, okay. <laughs> Tamio, okay, the Tamio is a way to get back some stuff from the graveyard. That's not like a great way to do it, but if you have four of them, you just go grab them with Captain Sissy, right? That's awesome. Yeah, so Aether Express War is the way to win. Uh, getting out Karn would have kept us alive because they could not have activated the Karn or the any actually any of the things. So so that was where I just didn't know what was up. I, I forgot that I would have been able to stop the Mind Stone, though. That's, uh, that would have been nice. Search for glory. Yeah, up to 57. Yeah, good game. You got us. Cool stuff. I like it. Yeah, see, this is this is why Karn is in the deck is typically it stops stuff. Uh, I'd never seen that before. I definitely should have thrown out Karn instead, and I just yeah, that that's what happens when you don't know what you're doing. Abgins Zedarkon, and uh, we have Whelming Wave, and we do have some ramp. So yeah, sure, we'll keep this. First time seeing the Whelming Wave, kind of excited about that. Let's go. Am I willing to bolt and shock myself? I don't think so. Okay, play is tapped. Pass the turn. Because there is always the chance that we can find a one drop with Gross Spiral. So, like, playing out Forest here, doing this. I'd like an untapped land so I can potentially hit Grazer or something else. All right, so this is the combo deck. Uh, so, we actually need to hold up the mana for Negate the whole time. So, here we go. Holding up mana for Negate every turn. We get to do that with Gross Spiral. So, sweet. Yeah, we actually have like the perfect hand for this matchup. So this is the Neoform combo. Goes for Shimmer. Getting shimmery. All 
All right, grow spiral. Wouldn't mind finding more lands. That's that's not that. It'd be great to find another land. There, there it is. Um, now we can negate and hold up crow spiral. So yeah, let's pay two, pass the turn. This is the turn where they usually combo off. Although they need have uh, one more green source. All right, so yeah, wall of blossoms. Cool. Definitely wouldn't mind finding the land for Nyssa here. Bolas. Whiffed on it? Nice. <laughs> very, very nice. Alright, grow spiral. Whelming waves are meh for us. Alright, there's Nyssa. Untap breeding pool. Hold up negate. Really hope they don't have removal for that. Alright, here we go. Come on, go for the combo. That'd be like the perfect way to shut them down here. Would love that. This does return all of our lands from Nyssa, so that's where the downside of Wilming Wave comes in. Uh... River's Rebuke could be good for us instead, but it's six mana. Yeah, we can ramp up to six mana quickly enough, but I think that Wilming Wave really does hit that spot where we just needed something else like that in our deck. Depart the Rim. They don't have enough to do a combo, so... I could counter this, but I definitely want to counter the combo instead, so sure. Uh, if they have negate, pack the negation. Rude. Now we don't have the counter spell. All right. Did you have flip and everything? All right. They have to pay for pact. Uh, land for coma would be awesome. Oh, there's Karn. Sweet. And graft trigger's cage. All right, your combo's offline now. What you gonna do about it? Um, we can also go for statue here and just kind of make them feel as sad as possible. Bring in like torrential gear Hulk. If we play statue, we have to tap down, they can kill Karn. Um, I guess it's just Golos. Try to start like getting ahead on the game a little bit more. Uh, let's grab Blast Zone. No attacks, pass the turn. Now we're gonna start activating Golos. If we also just find the land, we have Ugin. Combat Celebrant. Okay. All right, stick up there. Um, do I want to be holding up negate still? They might have like a wilt to get rid of Grafitiger's Cage. Um, we can coma. Stopping activated village doesn't actually shut down the rest of the deck though. Golos, let's just get three free things. We tap down everything to do it though. Have we played a land yet? It might be nice just to find a land to play it like land or else, some other stuff and a free coma. Is good stuff, you know? You know. Coma. Rose Spiral. Definitely want to hit a land so I can have the negate here. That'd be great.
Nice. All right, play the land of war out. Uh, so we can always tap down camp combat celebrants so they can't attack in multiple turns. Shimmer possibility. Okay, I was gonna say like I don't I don't know how long they can hold this off. You know we have a handful of stuff. We weren't holding up negate, but uh, with the graphics cage, they'd have to find removal for that and the combo, and they just didn't have enough lands to do that. And so, I, I, yeah, I felt comfortable enough there at least. Good game, good game. All right, up against Mogara, Mogara. <laughs> uh, and this is a beautiful hand. Okay, go Grazer. Get out that Hinterland Harbor. Pass the turn. Yorion. Is this like Yorion Ultimatum in Historic? I have seen that before. All right, so we're looking for Negates. Negates would be awesome. There's Rose Spiral. Yep, definitely. I, I, that's, I, I feel it. And it's definitely truth. All right, so this can come in tap, untap this turn still. Um, grow spiral. Nice. Grow spiral. No attacks. Fast turn. All right, sweet. We get a Nissa Mindstone. Definitely want to find our six land. Crazy. Crazy crazy. Alright, go Nissa. Untap forest, swing in. Get up Mindstone. Chumps right away. Very intriguing. Board wipe of some sort. Like crippling fear or something like that. If we get to untap and cast Krasis though, we're in such good shape. Please keep Nissa alive. Extinction event. Okay. Kills our forest. Cool. Um. Do I still want to attack in? I can play Mind Stone, untap, hit. Yeah, let's do that. And I might seal, hold up mana for negate, actually. Five. Man, that six would be really nice. Having seven still would be good, too. I think this negate is necessary, though. I mean, I'm telegraphing the negate. I should have held up other stuff. I should have tapped on Mind Stone and other stuff, but... <laughs> At the same time, though, negate does just kind of shut this down. If we could have the turn to hit in for nine, keep drawing other stuff, keep Nissa alive. Yep, there's negate. That even would have been really bad there. We need to keep our lands. Ooh, getting... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I do it, uh, so I can hit the Ugin here, but I don't get to hit in for damage. That still seems worthwhile. The elements. All right, Ugin. Unutilized. They have to deal with so many things here. I don't know how they do that. We can ultimate with Nissa, which at this point is definitely worthwhile just to get the lands out. Um, a lot of the lands that we found aren't our forests, and so it actually means that we get more and more stuff out of the deck. That's a flipping ultimatum. Oh my gosh. Should have waited on the negate. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure what their best play is here, though.
main white celebration to proliferate the, the liana. We can hope the epiphany isn't too amazing. They just don't have another good card in hand. Um, if we give them Liliana and Epiphany. That's interesting. I have timeout, right? Okay. Uh, that's <sighs> all right. So Liliana, we definitely don't want to have happen, uh, at least with this. So one of these guys has got to go. Um, which one do I want? I guess try to find something with plain white celebration. Then go for extinction event again. Bring that back from hand with the plain white celebration. And then have play things to play. Luckily, Emergent Ultimatum gets exiled. It might have been better to not let them have the plain white celebration and just deal with Liliana soon. Because it didn't necessarily stop us, but we'd lose lands or something. Turns Hydrocrasis and gains a bunch of life. I mean, unless they can kill Ugin, Hydrocrasis is fine. I feel like they should have definitely gone for the Extinction. Oh, I guess Extinction of it doesn't deal with what's going on on board, though. All right. How amazing is this hand? Do you have another ultimatum? There's Vorinclex. All right, well, that's okay. It's not great, but so they get to stop Nissa from. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Keep this at six. I don't care about that. We'll keep Nissa a little bit higher. Keep her grazer around. Could go for negative zero with this. Get the uh, birds off. This counts as two, right? Not zero. All right. The only thing it can do is play land. Okay. Nice. We get a land. Hit for nine. Twelve. We're getting pretty dang close to lethal here. Crasis can hit for a bunch and a half, though. All right, first things first. Let's draw a card. Another Ugin. So we get half the counters onto our lands when we do this. We don't actually have to take up the Nissa. And this Vorinclex is really annoying. So I can go kill a bird. Alright, let's negative zero. Uh, I think I'm just going to be drawing cards with Mindstone. Yeah, Vorinclex is so weird with our Nissa. So we, we get to untap something, but we don't actually get to get the loyalty with Nissa. Uh, we need to find a, an answer for this Vorinclex and quick, and all of our stuff doesn't really work with it. Um, sure. It still gets in for damage here, right? So... Do I need Krasis around? I think I'm double blocking. I mean, getting the life total low is still something that helps us. Pass turn. Keeping our Ugin alive so that we can kill a Krasis is big. And that's why I just swing with Krasis now. Although, I, I, Krasis is probably going to die, so I probably would prefer to have that be the thing that blocks foreign Clax. They're going to beat us here just because they have so much mana. Oh, crap. Uh... 
Uh, this is our only lands, though, so I don't actually want to... I could have drawn in for one more try for negate, I guess. Because that was so necessary. Oh, nice. Dude, what a flippin' hand! Gosh. Crisis. You know what? That's actually something. Uh, yeah, negative two. Get rid of that dude. Keep hitting for something. We can only kill one of these. I'd actually like, as long as we get in for some damage, we have a shot, right? We totally have a shot. Dude, they just drew the perfect hand. This is so dumb. All of the stuff. Okay, kills Nissa. That's actually the best thing for them to kill for us here. And then if we can have any way to deal with this, uh, a whelming wave. Although it has haste. I'm just going to play this out. Have Born Clicks be another blocker. Whatever. The interesting thing with, with Blast Zone and Born Clicks, though, is that we can kill tokens with this. Although, uh, I believe it'll end up killing our lands, too. Not this one, though. Does drawing do anything for us? Karn. Alright, so it only enters with two. We do activate it right away. We grab... Something. We have five mana right now, so Golos? If Golos can stay alive, we have a shot. We have this itty bitty little chance. If Golos can go get to find this a world tree and we have one more land, then we have enough to activate Golos and then we can cast that for free. And honestly, coma, coma is what gets us there with this right now. If we can get a coma, life would be great. Uh, yeah, we'll just block one point of damage. Down to 16. Endings are inevitable. I don't think we can win this, but it's just good enough to hold out for a little bit. For the love. Yeah, that's game. Because now we would have to block with the Golos, too. I'm just sticking around because I want to see what's on the top of this deck now. Dude, Coma would have been so great, and it's a tapped land. Yeah, of course. Alright, good game. Yeah, got us. Ugh. Yep, 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 yep. No blocks. Take it. Dude. Curved out perfectly. We actually had a pretty decent hand too. Just I I was playing a little bit of a gamble on some some of the decisions there and they just happened to have all of the things. The shadows verdict there. Oof, that was brutal. All right, so I, I'm not showing, I think, every uh, game of this one. Dude, I, what is with this? On the draw seven times, on the play one time. Like, this is so dumb. Like, this is so often. I, I've deleted a lot of my decks. Okay, this one is 50-50. This one was seven and three. This one was, okay, that was the one time that I was more, but I was not playing in ladder. You know, <laughs> like, just like, anytime I play in ladder, I'm always on the draw. I don't get it. This deck 
is powerful on the play at least you know like hey we're 100 on the draw or on the play that's right take that uh I don't, I don't get it this is so dumb that i am always always on the draw uh dude by the way here's mtg assistant if you guys want to check it out it's in the link down below but to be able to get your stats and kind of know what's going on with everything it's nice to it's nice to know all of your stats all your things and it definitely helps support the channel if you go and it's a free download you guys can do it anyway so I, I'm not probably going to show every game because there's a couple that were just like, they comboed off on turn three and we were on the draw. What do you do about that? We had Karn in hand and like, okay, we're on the draw. We just didn't get the combo thing in time. It's just it's just frustrating, guys. I don't I don't know what to do. So that, that's the secret word for this one is seven games on the draw. Again. Again. Dude, so dumb.